you can draw this in Procreate. I'm back with another You Can Draw This video tutorial. I hope you are keeping up. I sure have seen a lot of artworks on Instagram, so it's even hard for me to keep up. But do be sure that once you have finished doing this tutorial, to share your work on Instagram and tag me in the image. So maybe in the next You Can Draw This video, we will see your artwork here. In this You Can Draw This video, we will once again be using the brushes that are already in Procreate. Plus one brush that you can download for free through a link in the description. Are you ready to get started? First of all, our canvas. It's 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. And I have made a color palette for you, so you can use the exact same colors I'm using. You can download that as well for free through a link in the description. First step we'll take is fill this first layer with a very dark color. That's that first color over here. We will drag our circle onto our canvas to make it nice and dark. A great base for our candle. We will start drawing our candle on a new layer. So we'll click the plus and we will use the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. And we'll pick this second color, this very light yellow color. And we will start by drawing the wax of the candle. We will start at the bottom here and you can make a bit of a wiggly line going up and then make some waxy shapes. You don't have to get it right, right away. You can just fix it later. And then we'll go down here again. And you can fill the shape by dragging in that yellow. And then you can just add some more waxy shapes, some wobbles, because of course, the, the candle is melting and that wax is coming down, making these little wobbles. And you can just use your brush to adjust the shapes a little bit. And you can use your eraser if you want to erase parts. A bit like this. Now, I don't want these really sharp edges for our candle, so I'd like to blur this layer just a little bit. We'll do that by going to the magic wand and then selecting Gaussian Blur. If you swipe to the right with your pen or finger, you can blur this layer. And we just want a very slight blur. So let's say 3%. That's fine. And I will make a new layer on top of this layer by clicking the plus. And we will use Layer Clipping Mask. Just click your layer and select Clipping Mask. This way, whatever we paint will only be visible on this candle shape. And we'll go to airbrushing and use the soft brush. And we'll pick our third color in the color palette, this orange. And let's set our brush to 20% and just glaze over the candle almost all the way to the top. And then we'll move to the next color, this bright red, to add an even warmer color. Like this. Our next step is to block a part of this bottom part of our candle. And we'll do that by using a layer mask. Go back to layer two with that candle shape on it. Click the layer and go to mask. And now we'll use black to mask part of this layer. And we'll keep our brush at 20%. Or perhaps let's go to 25. Let's do something crazy. And block this underside of the candle because that'll be in shadow. We can also soften that gradient a little bit that we just created on layer three. Go back to layer three, go to the magic wand and use Gaussian blur. So we can soften it up just a little bit. Let's say 22%. 
And now it's time to add some waxy details to the candle. So we'll make a new layer again. And this one, we will also clip to the candle layer. So click the layer and select clipping mask. And now we will use the soft airbrush and pick this brown color right here. And let's draw in some dripping effects. Make sure that you make your strokes going down. So like vertical, vertical wobbly lines, because of course, because of gravity, all that wax that is melting will go down. Just some little wobbly lines. And we can make a dripping effect here. I'm using very little pressure on my brush. Because the more pressure you use, the more opaque your brush stroke will be. For this brush anyway. And I like building up my strokes slowly. And we can also add some lighter details using this brush. So let's pick this light color over here and let's add some light effects. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. I'll go to 6%. And let's add some little highlights. I'll make the brush a bit bigger, go to 15%. And lighten up this inside of the candle a little bit. I believe it's time to add a wick to our candle. Or like we say in Dutch, the lont. Let's make a new layer for that. We'll just click the plus and you don't have to use layer clipping mask this time because we don't want this wick to be clipped because it is sticking out above that candle. We'll go back to the monoline brush under calligraphy. And we will pick this very dark brown color to make our wick. And just make a little wicked shape just about here. And drag in the color to fill your wick. For our next step, we are going to use a luminance brush. We'll make a new layer again and go to luminance to pick the light brush. And we will use this light color right here again. And let's just add some highlights. We'll go to 4%. And let's brighten up these edges where the light of our flame is hitting that candle. Let's also add some more here near these drips. A bit like this. And now let's add the flame to our wick. Again, we'll make a new layer. So click the plus again. And let's go back to the mono line brush. And we'll keep using this light color. And I'll just draw in a flame shape. Let's start here. Make a nice lame shape and just close the shape there and fill it 
And now let's blur it just slightly by going to the magic wand and then using Gaussian Blur. And we'll slide to the right till 3%. Now click the layer again and select Mask. We will use the soft brush under airbrushing to block a part near that wick. And we'll set our brush to 7%. Just go to the center here and make sure that the wick becomes visible again. Of course, our candle needs a bit more, so we'll make a new layer again by clicking the plus. And this layer we will set to add. Just click the N, then scroll down to add. And we'll still be using the soft brush. And we'll pick this nice orange color over here. Let's make our brush a bit bigger. Let's go to 10% and let's lower our opacity to 60%. And let's start adding a slight glow to our flame. You might have noticed that when you look at a flame, that near the center of that flame, it appears to be blue. So let's add that. Let's select this bright blue over here. And let's also make a new layer. And we'll set this one to add as well. So click the N again, and then go to add. Let's make our brush a bit smaller. Let's go to 7% and add some blue to the bottom part of the candle. I just want to block a little bit more of that initial flame. So we'll go back to that layer mask and we'll still be using the soft brush. Set it to 10% and block a little bit of these sides. And for the final touch, let's add some light effects to our background. We'll go all the way down to layer one and add a new layer on top. And we'll use a special glitter brush that I've made, which you can download for free through the link in the description. It is my big bokeh lights brush. And we'll set it to this yellow right here. The brush is set to 100% and the opacity is at 93. And let's just add some light in some random places. And when it's too much, you can just tap with two fingers to undo your stroke. And it's finished. There's our candle. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then you might like these two videos as well. I will see you next time.